If you are looking to create time lapse videos with the help of generative AI models, then Magic Time is probably a very good choice. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this fabulous model called as Magic Time. Before I get into the technicalities of this model, let me show you a few of the samples generated by this model. Have a look at this. This is a time lapse video of this. Check out this bud sprouting out. And then have a look at this cupcake. Look at this flower. And then look at this plant sprouting out of the ground. And then look at these clouds. This is all time lapse created by AI. You don't have to just sit there, wait for ages for these things to move with a camera. You can just create it through AI. How good is that? Now, there are various examples scattered throughout this paper and GitHub repo, and I will drop the link in video description. But now let's have a quick look at what exactly is happening here. The recent advances in text to video or T2V generation models have been driven by the emergence of diffusion models. These models are typically based on either transformers architecture or unit architectures. The former approach, which is a transformer one, tokenizes videos and incorporates positional encoding for training, whereas the later one, the unit architecture, extends the 2D unit with a temporal feature extraction module for pseudo 3D training. But the videos generated by these models primarily show camera movement, lacking a continuous subject metamorphic process and limited incorporation of physical knowledge. So in this research, these researchers categorize such videos as general videos. Since the training data sets predominantly consist of general videos and current T2V models struggle to produce videos depicting complex phenomena like seed germination, which I just showed you, ice melting or flower blooming, which are characterized by minimal physical content, brief duration and limited variation. Compared to general videos, these researchers have observed a category of videos that typically encompasses the subject's entire transformation process and addressing the inherent limitations of the former. They call this category as metamorphic videos, which encode a more comprehensive representation of world knowledge. Such videos have the potential to enhance the capacity of video generation models to accurately depict the real world. So the generation of metamorphic videos is of paramount importance for a wide range of applications despite being relatively unexplored in existing research. If you look at this pipeline, which I'm going to show you shortly, then you would know that this video is simply is being created by a very very formal process let me make it a bit more bigger and then we will see what exactly is happening you know that's better now to tackle the challenge of generating metamorphic videos these researchers have introduced a new framework called as magic time magic time excels in creating video content that is magically compressed in time Initially, they present the magic adapter to encode more physical knowledge in metamorphic videos into the feature extraction, expanding the metamorphic video generation capabilities of pre-trained T2V models without altering their core general video generation abilities. Then they propose a dynamic frames extraction set strategy that enables the model to adapt to the characteristics of time lapse training videos and prioritize metamorphic video features. Also, they introduce a meta text encoder to refine prompt understanding and distinguish between metamorphic and general prompts. Magic Time generates text aligned, coherent, high quality metamorphic videos across various styles coordinated with carefully designed techniques. 
Now in this diagram, they first train magic adapter S to remove the influence of watermarks. Next, magic adapter T is trained to generate metamorphic videos with the help of dynamic feature extraction. And then finally, they train a magic text encoder to enhance text comprehension ability during the inference stage. All components need to be loaded simultaneously. Slash padding indicates that the model is not used. How good is that? Also, just a quick one on magic adapter. To transform the pre-trained T2V model to generate metamorphic videos, they decouple the training process into two stages, spatial training and temporal training. Internet video data often contains non-removable watermarks, introducing irrelevant noise and data bias. Video generation model consists of spatial and temporal layers. The former focuses on learning visually relevant content, while the later builds inter-frame continuity. If we can separate temporal and spatial training, allowing the spatial modules to concentrate more on the subject rather than the watermark, this will facilitate the temporal layer in learning the motion patterns of metamorphic videos. And that is why in the initial training phase, they remove the temporal layer from the pre-trained model and integrate the magic adapter S into the spatial layer, inspired by the one and only QLoRa adapter. And then subsequently they freeze the remaining model parameters and employ keyframe text pair from the chronomagic dataset for training. And there are a lot of nuggets which are scattered throughout this GitHub repo and paper. And I would highly suggest that if you're interested in doing that, please go and have a read through. So magic time is a novel framework for metamorphic time-lapse video generation. It can generate metamorphic videos confirming to the content distribution and motion patterns in real captured metamorphic videos. Extensive experiments have demonstrated that their effectiveness in generating high quality metamorphic videos with various prompts and style is solid. Also, this magic time model and chrono magic benchmark can provide a simple yet effective solution for metamorphic video generation, which can facilitate further investigation for the community if they are interested. So, highly interesting project, really like it. I think this is going to be a big thing soon and I tried to install it in my local system but it is too big for me so I'm not going to even try but if you have a powerful system with maybe a 100 GPU give it a try and let me know how it goes and happy to hear about your experience. Lastly uh, one of the best thing is license is very very generous very open Apache 2 so heads off to the creators. That's it guys. As I said, I will drop the link to GitHub Rapper in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.